A common question I get is about muscle injuries. Should I use hot or should I use cold therapy? And I can understand why this can be confusing. There's not even really a good strict consensus within the medical community. So I'm going to simplify things for you today and let you know what I advise my patients to do in my clinics. Keep in mind I'm recording this in 2015 and science does change. So when we talk about muscle injuries, we usually mean acute muscle injuries. That's like a sprained ankle, pulling your lower back, hurting your shoulder or neck, maybe a knee or sports injury. Injuries that have a severe and sudden onset but usually are completely healed within a couple of weeks. So when you get an acute injury, you're probably going to have some broken blood vessels from the injury which is going to leak into the surrounding tissues and your body is also going to send additional blood flow to the area resulting in a lot of redness, swelling, inflammation, warmth, tenderness, and maybe some decreased mobility. So in this situation you're going to want to first apply ice. Ice is going to squeeze down those blood vessels making them smaller so less blood flow can get to the area and as they squeeze down they push fluids out from the area that have already accumulated there. So this is going to decrease swelling and inflammation and help you feel better. So for as long as your injury is swollen and red and your body keeps responding in that way and with warmth and pain, that's when you want to keep doing the ice therapy. This can be anywhere from 24 to 72 hours based on the severity of your injury. So you should get a cold pack. These gel packs are great because you can make them hot or cold. Put a protective barrier around it like a paper towel is fine. That way it'll protect your skin. And then you can let, apply that to your injury for about 10 to 12 minutes every hour. Heat basically does the opposite of ice. But that's okay when you're trying to rehabilitate the area. That's actually what we want. Heat helps to expand and relax your blood vessels, letting circulation come to the area, bringing vital oxygen and nutrients to heal it. It also helps carry the old debris away. Another option is to use heat alternated with cold therapy. The two actually work well together in the rehabilitation phase. You can do heat, cold, heat, cold, and you don't have to wait between treatments. I said initially to use ICE. There's even an acronym out there, RICE, that people use to remember that. R-I-C-E. The I stands for ice because you use that initially. The thing I want you to remember is that too much of a good thing does not necessarily make it better. If you leave ice on for more than 15 minutes you're probably going to have the opposite response than you're looking for. Our bodies are pretty smart and once they figure out what's going on they try to compensate and undo what you're doing. So basically, start with cold therapy and move to heat therapy or heat plus cold therapy. Alternate the two. The biggest things to remember, if you want to remember cold first, you can remember the ICE acronym or you could think about if you burned yourself on the stove, um, injured your finger or something, would you run and go put more heat on it or would you go to the sink and put it under cool water? So. If you have questions, let me know. Leave a comment below. Make sure you're on the YouTube website and you should see comment section underneath the video. Let me know how you've dealt with muscle injuries. Let me know what questions you have. And let me know what you'd like for me to discuss in future videos.